And hello people, this is your host, Iridium Axel here, and today I am playing on Redstone Craft yet again. Um, this will be episode 2 or 3 of Redstone Craft. Anyway, as you can see, I've gotten settled in here at a temporary abode. Uh, haven't really done much on the server since last time, which has been like multiple weeks. It's been pretty empty lately. Anyway, uh, today you may notice there's a different title on this video. What I have decided to do is make each episode, ah, uh, well, each video of me playing, ah, uh, games, such as this, ah, uh, not story-driven games like Scribble Knots, but just open sandboxes that are hard to, ah, uh, commentate over, I've decided to make them into Tech Talk series, which basically I'll just... I'll choose uh, subjects, generally tech related, and talk about them while playing Minecraft. So, let's go ahead and find a cave real quick. Looks like this has already been fully explored. And, first of all, what I'd like to talk about, this is kind of old news but not everyone knows about it. HoloLens. Uh, this is a, if you don't know, this is a new Microsoft product that will basically, ah, it's going to be like Google Glass on steroids times 30. It will create an entirely holographic reality around you. Ah, and keep in mind this is goggles, so it's not like a hollow deck. It's, it's a headset that you put on. Hmm, looks like this has been explored. Uh... But they have had an actual demonstration. And uh, hold on one moment. All right, sorry about that slight interruption. But uh, ah, I hit F8. But as I was saying, they have had a lot, a live demonstration of Hololens, and it has a humongous amount of potential. Ah. Uh, I myself have seen a whole lot of coverage on it. I believe a few companies and groups such as, ah, uh, what's the name of it? Ah, uh, a few tech brands, not brands, but ah, uh, news reporter type things have had their hands on it and they say it will live up to the hype, which I think it's pretty epic that this exists. Ah, and they say it will be out within the Windows 10 lifetime, which brings me to my next subject, which is Windows 10. Ah, that is the new version of Windows to come out. Ah, that's right, they are completely skipping 9, and a lot of people think that that's just because 8 was so bad that they didn't want to even make a direct successor. Ah, but the actual reason, hold on, let me turn down my sounds real quick. Alright, uh, the actual reason is because in coding, uh, since Windows 98 and 95 were so close together in how they were made, the programmers would just shorten it and put Windows 9. So... That's the actual reason that, uh, that it's pretty much the coder's fault that, uh, it's not Windows 9. Microsoft made up this fancy speech, but that's the actual reason. Uh, yeah, but as far as looking at it, because they do have technical previews that people can download, I think it has a lot of potential. I think it could possibly... Now, stress possibly be better than uh, Microsoft's uh, Windows 7, which is quite a leap. 
Ah, uh, if I do say so myself. Ah, uh, Windows 7, at least for me, was the best version of Windows. Uh, a lot of people I know liked XP, but uh, I've had trouble with XP in the past. And there are just a few features that either it doesn't have or I don't know how to use in it that uh, just sort of irk me. But that's all personal preference. Speaking of personal preference, it is time for me to move on to my next subject for this video, which is Windows versus Macintosh. Ah, what is better? What should you use? So, the short answer is Windows. Yeah, Windows. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me give you some reasons for this, and also let me, uh, let me give a fair comparison. First of all, Macintosh, it will not run as many games as Windows, but if you are not a gamer, uh, Macintosh is a possibility, but you also have to take into account that uh, Macintosh will always, unless Mac has some giant revelation, will always cost more than PC. Uh, that's just how it is. Generally, Macintosh is around double. That's the that's the range it was at when I calculated it. Uh, like an equivalent computer, Macintosh for what my computer specs are. Uh, it ended up at twelve hundred. So, eh. Uh, another thing. Uh, Windows. This is personal preference, but I like the setup better than Macintosh. Just, just off of how it is. Uh, of course, I have not spent many years using Macintosh. In fact, the latest one I've had was like from the year 2000. One of those all-in-one Macs. So... I am not one to talk about operating system quality, uh, really. Uh, but another thing that I will note is Macintoshes. Uh, what I recommend people do if they really want the Macintosh uh, operating system, because there are many reasons to get it. It's safer, it's free, uh, it has all the programs like uh, Microsoft Office already in there. You can actually read Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Excel files, but it can't write to them. Uh, so there are many advantages to having the Mac operating system. But if you just want that, you can buy a $500 PC that will have the same strength as a Macintosh. And then you can download the operating system from Mac, because it is free now. It used to cost $50. Uh, and yeah, once you've done that, you're, you can go ahead, put the operating system on your new computer, and you're going to have your Macintosh. Uh, so, from here... The Macintosh, ah, uh, it is a viable option, also for people who do not know very much about computers, uh, because it is ultra simplistic and will not let you, uh, it, it won't let you mess up the computer that easily, basically. Ah, uh, well, that cave is explored. That was quick. Uh. But, I, I think Macintosh is a viable option if you have, uh, if you just want something simple that you will not have to upgrade or buy anything for. Because generally, Macintoshes, you never have to look at the hardware on those. Because you know they will work. I mean, you put, you pay enough. Ah. <laughs> uh, Whereas PCs, you can get anywhere from horrible to great quality. 
uh, whatever that is, you you have to decide for yourself. Uh, next, I will go into the subject of computer building. Why do it? Okay, so a lot of reasons people build computers is because they want uh, to customize. I mean, that's basically the majority of it. Look at it this way. Would you rather have... Ah. Let's put it an example of donuts. And I'm being shot. Hold on. Uh, let's put it in an example like this of donuts. Uh, say you could build your own donut and someone just joined the game. Would you rather make an epic multi-chocolate donut of epic or just have a glazed? Of course, you would not have to have the chocolate. You could choose whatever you want. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, that's basically the main reason that people will customize their computers. They want a experience that is fully up to them. And I forgot to make a new sword. Dang it. Oh. Bow. Yay. And I still have a stick. Epic. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, building a computer is definitely not for everyone. But, it may be soon. Because, there is something I have been looking into that is still in development called Project Christine. Uh, this is a concept I think they may have a working model uh, I don't know they I think they showed it off at either PAX or CES but it is a fully uh, modular PC where it has a central tower uh, oh he left uh, then into that central tower you plug in multiple different uh, modules. Oh, I hear a skeleton. That cannot be good for being around lava. Eh. Ah. Uh, so, it's fully mod modular. Central tower, everything plugs into it. A were Ah. Uh, so this makes it insanely easy to uh, to customize to your liking because you simply buy the module, unplug the old part, plug in the new part, and I believe if I read it right, uh, each particular part is interchangeable. So what that means is you can have... Uh, your processor, like, for people who don't know much about computers, this is going to sound like crazy talk. And I'm going to be, they're going to be really confused. But, uh, say you have your processor plugged into one port. Again, sorry for the interruption. But, uh, let me explain what I was saying before. Say you have your processor plugged into one port. And your graphics card in another. In theory, you could interchange them. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention about Project Christine is the entire thing is water-cooled. From the central spire uh, up into each module. Which makes it so that it's extremely silent and will work ultra-efficiently due to lack of heat. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to end off this video here. I have co covered all of the topics that I wrote down on my small list of a few things. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hello, people. 
this is your host, Dear Redeem Axel here, and today we are playing on Redstone Craft SMP, and this is spawn, so I can't do anything. 